early in the morning just to listen to us. We are Perfect. We are here to share our experiences as well as uh, the outcomes of what we have gained through this CSR project. Now, before we proceed, I would like to apologize that our team member, Pei Chi, couldn't join us today due to certain reasons. Now, let us, let's not let that dampen our spirits and let's proceed. Now, here is a video to show us roughly what we did in the old folks' home.
Ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of our video. Frankly speaking, the place was in very terrible condition and it was very untidy. The bed sheets are all torn and covered with a strong pungent smell due to the feces and the urine. The tables there are all shaky and even broken. And spider webs are everywhere. Looking at all this, it really made me doubt that we could accomplish anything at all. However, we still managed to clean the place up. And thankfully, we have our teammates and our leaders have done a very good job by segregating duties among the team members to make the event run even more smoothly. Next, let's hear what Chun Yap has to say. Thank you, Vivian. Um, besides cleaning, we did some bonding with the old folks as well. <laughs> and the, the ladies and gentlemen, these old folks are abandoned by their family and very much alone. That's why I befriended with some of them and they told me some really interesting stories about their lives, about their children and about how they got into this place. And as some of them are physically disabled or mentally challenged, I had a hard time getting used to them at first. But then, after a while, I had learned the lesson that we should not pass any judgment on them as we are no better ourselves. So, everyone here is fighting their own battles and need some care and affection for once in a while. So I think we should be kinder for everyone here and especially to the elderly. Yeah. Now I would like to pass the floor to Lian. Thank you, Chunyak, for sharing this experience with us. Going to the old folks' home has made me realize many things. It has I now know how they feel when their children no longer have time for them, or even worse, do not love them anymore. I have also come to know how important my own parents are to me, and to appreciate the things that they have done for us. I believe that all of us have actually taken advantage of our own parents. We actually have been so used to our own parents supporting us all the time, that we do not realize it until we see someone worse off, or when we lose them someday. So, make time for them. Give them a call when you're busy, or even spare some time out of your busy schedules. Thank you. I'll now let um, James and Ching Hai share his experience. Thank you. Thank you, Lian. Ching Hai, apart from mingling with the old folks, home, the old folks uh, how do you feel with the whole CSR project? Well, to be honest, um, I was really shocked when I first see the Fox Homes condition when we first when we were first there. And to be honest, I was thinking, why? Why are they being left there after they cared and raised their children? Ladies and gentlemen, we could change this. Alright? One small step. Remember, one small step by us will be a huge lasting step for the old folks. And one more thing, if you guys are still not changing, um, by year 2050, one third of us here in this hall will be in the old folks' home. <laughs> yeah. And this is just not right to be happening in our society, right? Okay, James, what do you think then? Um, yep, uh, yep, Shanghai, I totally agree with what you have said. These old folks do not expect a big house or music come from us, but what they really want. All they want was love and care. They don't even request us to pay to, to pay back all the money they have invested all this year. But what did they get in return? Abandoned in the old folks home. I realize that it should not be a question as to whether or not we should be taking care of our parents. But instead, it should be our obligation. 
as they did the same to us when we are young and naive. Remember, there's no turning back time in return, and we should not let our busy schedule be an excuse. And in fact, we should take we should start take care of our parents right now before it's too late. And now, Edwin would like to talk about his experience, which is slightly different from us. All right, thank you, JJ and Qinghai. Daring to be different, I took the extra mile to participate myself involving with other STEAM projects. Through the CSR project, I have learned to respect every living being that lives on this earth among us, whether they are of different backgrounds or upbringing, they all deserve to be respected or there should not be any discrimination. Even animals that do not have a voice have their rights to be respected, loved and so cared for, like what the One United Group makes us now. Moreover, through all the activities that I have particip participated in, I have come to understand the importance of care, love, compassion and also empathy. In fact, I will hope that I have more time to participate more in this CSR project to help them as much as I could. Or other than that, I did also learn to appreciate what I have rather than to compare or complain what others have that I don't. Therefore, therefore, I hope my sharing here today would inspire everyone of you here who are hearing what I'm talking just now, sharing, to cherish and respect life as every life is very valuable to us. Thank you. I will now pass this to Jing Jing. Thank you, Alvin. Now, I'm going to talk about some of the personal experience that I have during this CSR project and overall what my team has felt and encountered and what they have experienced. So, let's start with the first thing. It was very difficult for me as a leader to lead when I have not led before. And I realized that teamwork was very, very important. Everyone has their differences. Some are great at preparing budgets, but some just have great skills in handling people. All of us have our flaws. We should not just tolerate our flaws. What I'm saying is that we should also learn to celebrate our differences. We should celebrate and also embrace our differences as each and everyone's unique ability.